Hello everyone and welcome once again to another program of Prime Time. I'm your host Beverly. We know that the elections is just around the corner and we have a lot of new faces on the political arena. So today you are going to meet two new candidates who are what we call the new kids on the block. So stick around and we'll be right back for This is Prime Time. At Najico, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going even after an accident happens on site. At Najico, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more, however you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right, get 15 more. Wow, I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell Cell when you want more. In my opening, I mentioned two new faces, but actually, um, the person that I have in studio with us now is a new face, but um, he's been around for one, um, for one political season. So, um, in studio today is Mr. Chacho Peterson, he is the candidate number four on the St. Martin Christian Party. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. And so your name is actually Claude Chacho. Well, mm -hmm. um, thank you very much for inviting me, Beverly. My name is actually Claude Alfred Hans Peterson. Right. Um, but my nickname is Chacho. It mm -hmm. comes from the, the Spanish word muchacho, which mm -hmm. means uh, little, little boy. boy. <laughs> so that's a nickname I got from my dad. Okay. Thank you very much for inviting me. So it's okay for me to call you Chacho? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And so, yes, as, as I mentioned, you are not a new face, really. Mm -hmm. This is your second time going mm -hmm. up on this slate mm -hmm. with the Christian party. Mm -hmm. And so what motivated you in the first place to put yourself on a, on a slate? Late. Well, what motivated me, uh, Beverly, is I came back in St. Martin in 2001. Um, I'm an engineer by profession. I've been self-employed uh, for the last 16 years in St. Martin. But when I came back, I really didn't meet the, the, the St. Martin of my childhood. You know, I met an island where, where really your political affiliations and your ability to, to, to do not so good things that I call corruption um, became a factor to your success. Um, that, that over the years spurred me to more and more pay attention to, to what was going on in politics. And in 2015, I was approached by, by Mr. Smith um, to join the party. And I decided at that time that it was, it was time to move from taking a step of always talking about, about the, the problems and the solutions to actually becoming instrumental and delivering those solutions. Now, this was a new party. That's so correct. So were you a little hesitant? Well, I was not hesitant because in my analysis all the years and coming from a political family and background, um, I pretty much isolated the one common factor and what was destroying the island. And the common factor are basically the older parties. Um, we see since 10, 10, 10, those are the three older parties that have been fighting among each other to, to, to hold power. And we are actually going into our next election because of another government falling. So we have had seven governments now in eight years. So going on a new party for me was an easy decision. Um, the St. Martin Christian Party is actually an amazing party from the perspective that I was w very much welcomed and I've actually been able to become part of the, the defining the vision of that party. And all of the candidates that join that party get that opportunity. Yes. So yes. What's, what you're very passionate on, because I know you do a yeah. lot of social media. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, um, um, I'm probably the, 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 the candidate um, that started using social media the most. Um, I started using social media as a way to, to, 
to become a better activist and to get out to a broader audience. You know, I'm a person that I, I lived St. Martin problems. You know, I was raised to have a passion for my people and for my island. So using Facebook was a medium to reach people on a broader level. And it, it, it is pretty much a full-time job, you know, to, to interact and, and, and uh, you know, go back and forth with people. Yeah. And so, but thankfully, you know, it's something that I've been able to use the medium properly. And this election actually, post Irma, as we can see, it is all playing out on social media. And that is very good for me because it gives all the, the, the voters the opportunity to contact the various candidates. You know, so we even have the, the, the candidates from the older generation that have actually come on social media. So I think that's the direction of the future. Okay, yeah. so we'll take a break and then we'll come back right away. We'll talk about... Um, if you are elected, what are the areas you're going to focus on and that, that you think needs fixing? Definitely. Stick around, we'll be back in a moment. People all across St. Martin are switching to a more rewarding experience. The Whip MasterCard Fun Miles Credit Card, better known as My Card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. But there's more to my card. Worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to my card today at WIB. A cruise is a great adventure. Not only for passengers, also for us. The Port of St. Martin. Our port always reflected the needs and aspirations of the time. From the first to the 1.75 millionth passenger in 2013. Our cruise story started in 1963 with our first cruise passenger. 50 great years later, 20 million passengers later. Thousands of cruise berths later. We've become the leading port in the Caribbean. 50 fantastic years. Like a dream. The dream of Port St. Martin lives on and reinvents itself every day. The best is yet to come. At Travel Planners, we love what we do. Every day we help our clients plan their vacations, from honeymoons to family reunions, trade shows to conventions, school trips to sports tournaments. Our agents at Travel Planners can help you make better, wiser decisions on travel destinations and cruises and find you the lowest fares. Make some memories with help from Travel Planners in Phillipsburg and on the airport road Simpson Bay. Visit our website at Planners SXM and like us on Facebook at St. Martin Travel Planners. We take care of all your travel needs. And so just before we took a break, we were talking about if you are elected, yes. which are the areas that you're going to focus in that, that you think needs work? Well, um, definitely, uh, I like the, the word if I'm elected, mm -hmm. because as I tell people, it's not dependent on me. It's dependent on the voters actually voting for me. Um, if I'm elected, one of the first things, you know, we agreed as a party that we would like to do is look at um, lowering the MP salaries. Um, as a party, mm -hmm. we have pledged all 12 candidates to reduce the salary by 15%. Um, why 15%? It probably could have been more, but we chose 15% because we felt that's an amount that we would be able to lobby among the other elected MPs to actually have it pass. Um, the salary is way too high, um, Beverly. The severance packages for MPs is crazy. Um, I did not ratify that law. I did not make that salary, and we pledged to reform that salary. One of the other things that I think post Irma is extremely important is stability in government. Um, I took a lot of time post Irma to actually sit down and think of, of an idea that could work towards stability. Um, that's an idea I brought to the party. Um, the leadership 
um, as well as the other members, we discussed it, we, we played devil's advocate with it, and we decided we're going to go with it. I'll briefly tell you what it's about. It's basically going back to forming a national government. And the national government and this parliamentary system, and, and my, my idea is basically getting fifth, the new 15 elected MPs to actually come around a table and agree to form, the, to, to select, to appoint the new council of ministers. Um, the second aspect of it is actually appointing ministers that are professionals, ministers that are not coming from the political parties. Because as we have seen, every political party, all the party, they want to own ministers. SMCP doesn't want to own a minister. SMCP wants to own all ministers, and we want to oversee all ministers and make sure that the, the focus is on the reconstruction process. So the only minister that we see that should come from the parties is the prime minister. And that is, that is going to be the immediate focus, you know, after February for us to, to bring to the table. What do you think are your chances? Because you're a party of 12. Yes. You have other parties carrying 23 yes. on the slate. Yes. Um, and, of course, established parties, you're, as we yes. said, the new kids on the block. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, we would have loved to have more, more candidates, but we have a very stringent um, um, vetting process. And also, the word Christian in a party name scares a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, they figure it's a church. But it's not a church. It's a, it's a political movement. And it's a party based on Christian principles that I consider universal principles. Yeah. Principles of integrity, transparency, honesty, moral values. So um, we, we, we met a lot of people, but they, they were not willing to take the hard road. I decided to take the hard road to be elected. As I've been telling people, um, I prefer to take the hard road now to be elected. And when I get to parliament, my hands are free versus joining an older party and taking the easy road to get elected, but when you get to parliament, your hands are tied by that old political structure. So, um, you know, as a new party, I think definitely this time um, we have a better chance. Mm -hmm. The people are seeing now that we are committed, that we have stayed engaged after the last election. And whether we are elected or not, um, Beverly, I can promise the people that not only myself, but the entire party will continue to stay engaged in the community and, and, and fight for them, serve the people. And so here's your chance. Why yeah. should people vote for Chacho Peterson, number four on the St. Martin Ch Christian Party? Yeah. Well, um, I think people should vote for me, Beverly, because I come from a, a background that is a background that I love my people. I'm ready to serve my people. I'm ready to deliver the type of integrity, um, honesty and transparency and accountability that is necessary in government. And we're going to lead by example. It's going to be an opportunity to bring new blood into parliament. And let's be honest. It is time that we have new leaders with new ideas that can really deliver the change. And I'm not a person that my hands are tied by a campaign financer, you know. So vote for me on February 26 and you will see change. A lot of support from your mom. I know she's also a lot on, on social yeah. media. And well, your mom and your dad. Yeah. Well, my dad is not a lot on social media. No, your mom. Uh, my, my mom is very much. Um, I have all the support from my parents. Mm -hmm. um, my dad was, you know, as you, you yeah. know them a long time, my dad was more hesitant to make sure that I knew what I was getting myself into and the fact that I was ready to deliver the level of integrity that yeah. he has instilled in me. Yeah, and he's done a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We wish Beverly. you all the best in really the upcoming elections. Yeah, thank you. Stay tuned and we'll be back in a moment. Don't forget to look at us on Facebook and YouTube and don't forget to subscribe. Stick around. We'll be back in a moment with a new face. GEBE -E has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your airco temperature up. Two, 
Use a ceiling fan instead. 3. Buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. The Daily Herald is my first source for up-to-date information and news. Putting together this program of prime time requires research and knowledge of current events. For local news, regional and international news, do read the Daily Herald. Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. This is Prime Time and as we mentioned and as we promised, we are going to be highlighting the new faces in this round of elections. And so joining us today is also a newcomer and he is candidate number 18 on the United Democratic Party, uh, Dr. Luke Messalina. Thank you very much for joining us on the program, Dr. Messalina. Thank you, Beverly. For me, it's a great honor and a great pleasure also to be uh, a guest at your, in your program and the people of St. Martin too. For me, it's a great honor to be in your, as a guest today in your program. How long did it take you for, this, for you to decide, hey, I think it's time that I get up and do something in the political arena? You know, I have always been very interested in politics. Uh, as you know, in life, time is running, and I decided if I don't do it now, I don't think I'm going to do it anymore. So I have proven myself as a professional, being a surgeon for the community of St. Martin. And I thought to myself, I think there is something more for me in, in, in St. Martin. And I think I decided then to step up to the level of the political arena of St. Martin. So here we are now, uh, postulating myself as a new candidate for uh, the upcoming elections of February the 26th. So you've been out campaigning. Yes. Give me your, your opinion of what, what's the feeling out there. You know, to tell you honest, uh, seeing the fact that I'm a professional, uh, uh, people think that I do a lot to, to campaign. I can tell you that is not the case. My, uh, my commitment that I have been having with my patients, the care that I've been giving, given to the, to the St. Martin community, the enormous contact that I have on a daily basis with patients, mm -hmm. that for me, that is enough That's to enough. prove myself who I am and what people can expect from me in my next step that I took to take part in the elections of uh, February the 26th. What are you passionate about that you would like to see fixed, adjusted? Yeah. So my passion actually is of course my medicine, mm -hmm. but my second passion is of course bringing the care to the people. And in this case of course uh, my beloved St. Martin, my beloved community. And I think that my passion is to bring the care to the people of St. Martin. I have one more passion also, and that is, of course, my, 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 deep, my, deep, uh, my deep feeling that I should combat the injustice that we have in our community, for example, with, with the injustice in the amount of poverty nowadays that we have in this community. So I think the time is there now for me to, 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 to start with a new, yeah. new, new career. Are you born St. Martin? Uh, from friends or your parents? Uh, no, my parents. My yes. mother is, uh, mm -hmm. uh, her mother was a Williams from Simpson Bay and mm -hmm. my, uh, my, my grandfather was a Fleming from Marigot. Mm -hmm. So, but since small I have been coming every school vacation to visit my families in St. Martin. So that's the case. So, yeah. so, you, so um, you're, you're very attached here. Um, what is, um, so you said, um, why should, um, what difference do you hope to make coming in? to this um, arena, you, yes. if you are elected in Parliament. Yes, I had a few concerns when I decided to, 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 to make the step to go into the political arena. I had a few concerns about this community. One of them was the poverty that I just spoke about. Mm -hmm. I find that there is incredible poverty going on now in this community and we should take this problem very seriously and see how we, we can tackle this problem. Another reason that I went into politics is that I wanted, at the end of the day, to bring a change in the image of the personalities that are in politics, because I think that we are now in a different time frame, mm -hmm. that I really think that professionals should start to mingle with the politics of their community. And that's why I decided uh, myself as a professional to, to, to contribute 
to this community. Okay, we'll take a break and then we'll come back. We'll, I'll ask you how easy or, or, or difficult was it challenging to really step up and say, you know, I'm going to put myself into um, into political arena. It's not easy when you have your life all charted out and yes. the way you do things and then this is a new change in your Absolutely. daily life. Yeah. Absolutely. So stick around and we'll be back in a moment. Remember to subscribe on Facebook and on YouTube. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Megawati is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. -E. The Daily Herald is my first source for up-to-date information and news. Putting together this program of prime time requires research and knowledge of current events. For local news, regional and international news, do read The Daily Herald. I'm speaking to Dr. Luke Messalina and he is candidate number 18 on the United Democratic Party. How easy or difficult was it for you? As I said, you have your life already structured, you work at the hospital, you have family, and, and then you decide you want to put politics into that pot also. How easy or difficult was it to make that kind of decision? Easy and difficult. Mm -hmm. The easy part of it is that I realize that I'm a professional. So I'm not a politician. I'm a, mm -hmm. a pure professional person coming into the political arena. For me, it's not that I'm going into politics because I'm in need of a seat, in need of a chair, in need of work. I do that because I think I have a, a mission to try to contribute to this community. Uh -huh. So for me, that's very easy that I thought I have nothing to lose because I have my, I have my job, I have my profession. So that was for me not a, a, a difficult momentum to make the decision. What makes it difficult, my wife told me, Luke, you are a very uh, beloved person in this community because you have served the community with your soul in all those years. And you have been a person living in a community without enemies. And all of a sudden yeah. now you have to learn to live with people that are going to be a little against you. Yes. And to tell you honest, until now I have not been living in a community with people against me. Uh -huh. The other parties, politicians for other parties, I always go to them, I shake their hand, I tell my friend, I'm not going to become your enemy, I'm going to work together with you, and I always tell them, you do what you have to do to make my St. Martin great, and I'm going to do what I have to do to make your St. Martin great, and if we together do that, our kids will have a great place to live in, I think. I, I think you have the, the right spirit for that. Um, what can we say to people... Um, because, you know, there's a negative tone about not wanting to go out and vote. People are kind of a, a election wary. What can we say out to people that they should come and participate? And this election is very important. You know, Beverly, it's correct that people have this feeling like I'm tired of it and once more I have to go again and go to, to, to elect a candidate. On the other side, I tell people and I try to explain them, you have to make right of your you have to make use of your right to vote. vote. If you don't vote, people don't realize that yes. the same people are going to stay in the same chairs. So if you want a change, you have to make use of your right to vote. Mm -hmm. If you really want a change, I will say, try candidate number 18, Dr. Rosalina, <laughs> and for sure he is going to be a difference for the future of St. Martin. Mm -hmm. What has surprised you about yeah, this whole political thing, as you said, you're a professional and you come into this new arena. What has surprised you the most? Oh, yeah. what, 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 no. what has surprised me the most is that I was observing enormously in the beginning how people that are for a long time already in this arena, how, how they look at things and how they, they tackle problems. I can tell you I'm very impressed. 
with the way I have seen it until now. If there is a problem, for example, uh, they go and they go and they sit on the problem, and then they're going to analyze the problem, and then they're going to cuss everybody that contributed that the problem is what it is today. And at a certain moment, they lose all their energy and they lose their focus. And at the end of the day, the problem is not That's being solved. Yeah. And I think if you see there is something that is a problem for the community, I think you should just go tackle the problem and change it and make it make it work for the community. And that is what I think should happen. Yeah. So here's your opportunity to appeal to our voters why they should vote for candidate number 18 on the United Democrats, Dr. Luke Messalina. I think if you want a committed candidate, if you want a person that is knowledgeable in healthcare, for example, if you want somebody that is trying to be integer in this community, if you want somebody that wants to change systems and try to combat poverty, our waste management and our guidance of our youth in the future, I think there is a great chance the 26th of February for you to vote for Dr. Maslin. Will you feel most comfortable in a, in a health portfolio? I will feel myself, uh, of course, uh, uh, very comfortable expertise. because I am knowledgeable in that field, mm -hmm. I have the expertise of that field and I have the experience also of that field. But time will tell. Time will tell. Anyway, Dr. Masalina, thank you very much for That's joining us on the program. We wish you all the best, all success. And thank um, you very yes, much. please go out and vote on February 26th. As Dr. Masalina mentioned, it is your right to vote. It's um, a sacred right you have. Use it because you can make a change if you vote. Absolutely. This has been Pride Time. Thank you so much for watching us. I'll see you next week and we vote next week.